Welcome to Course 2, Steps to Complete Your First Tax Return. This video is Working with Clients in Home Base. My name is M.B. Raymundi. I am a CPA from Trumbull, Connecticut. I am a longtime Pro Series user and also have been teaching Pro Series as well as QuickBooks and other Intuit products for over 13 years, and I'm very happy to be here with you today. In this video, you will learn how to transfer clients from home base, navigate the home base views, open an existing client return, as well as add a new client return. When you first open up Pro Series, it opens up the home base, and this is where all your client files will show up. The first time you open it up, it will be empty. Whether you used Pro Series last year or you converted from another program, you will transfer clients' files from the prior year. And you do this by clicking on the transfer icon at the top of the page, which you can also get to it from the file drop-down menu. When I click on transfer clients, you want to make sure your directories are correct for the prior year returns and then where you want to save the current year returns. If the directories are not correct, you can set it up through the options, and we discussed that in the Getting Started course on setting up program options. You then select which returns that you want to transfer. I will just highlight a couple of them, though you can select all, and then click on Transfer, click on OK, and it will transfer the returns. After they're transferred, you will see a transfer log, which you can print. Otherwise, you click on Close, and you will see your clients listed. So home base is where you can find all your client returns. If you look at the drop-down on the top of the page, you will see that there's a view for each type of return, although there is also a view for all returns. And the views are pretty much the same, except for the EF Center. So the e-file center has different tabs across the top of the page, but this is a topic for another video. Let's switch back to the 1040 view, and we can customize the view to see the columns that you want to see. You do this by going to your home base drop-down menu across the top of the page. We are also going to talk about that in another video, and that video will be in Course 3. While we're on the home base drop-down menu, let's look at a couple choices that we have here. Notice that you have a find and a query. This is a way that you can filter what you are looking at to see certain information. For example, if you wanted to filter this just for returns of one preparer in your firm, you could do that. Notice also towards the bottom, you can print home base. You can export those contacts, and you can also export the view. Let's talk about help. At the top of your screen, you will see these two blank boxes. The top blank box is asking Pro Series a question. When you click on the Ask Pro Series box, that actually brings you to the database online and searches the knowledge base as well as searching the user guide. The user guide is online only, so if you want to search that, you need to use that top box. The second bar is searching for the in-product help, so they're both going to be useful to you. You can also access help from the top drop-down menu and click on the Help Center, and that will give you the program help. But one of the things I want to point out here is if I click on Tax Help, it tells me that Tax Help is available only when a tax return is open. The last two topics I want to talk about are opening an existing client and creating a new return. So opening an existing client is pretty easy. I highlight the client that I want to open. I can click on my little folder on the icon bar. I can also go to my file drop-down menu and click on Open Client. But what I find really easy to do is just double-click on it, and it will open that return for me. If I want to get back to home base, I click on the little icon and get back to home base. If you want to add a new return, again, from your icon bar, you can click on the white piece of paper that will add a new client file. You can go from your file drop-down menu and say that you want to add a new client. And notice you have a keyboard shortcut, Control plus the letter N, will also allow you to add a new client. When I add a new client, Pro Series asks me what type of return that I want to add, and then it will open up that type of return for me. 
So if I go back to home base, it's going to ask me if I want to save the file. There is a file extension that is comprised of the year of the tax return. So this year is tax year 2012 and the letter after it. I am saving an individual return, so I will see the letter I. The naming protocol for the file itself, if I had put any information in this new return, is the first four digits of the taxpayer's last name and the last four digits of the social security number. But you can change the name to whatever makes the most sense to you. You have now learned how to transfer clients, navigate the home base views, open an existing client return, and add a new client return. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to access the additional video demonstrations for not only this course, but additional courses that are available to help you learn how to use Pro Series.